cares? It doesn't go to. It don't no, go to no one else. Who dares walk in front of the camera? It was Bachilles. <laughs> it was Dang it. Bachiles. <laughs> it was Bachiles. Bachilles. I literally. Bichiles. I saw like the, a glimpse of like curly blonde hair and like, of course, someone tall enough. And I was like, oh, that's. That gotta be Bachilles. No. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> that was weird. I hate it. I. Player 4 has been changing up his like handshake game ever since, I think, Glitch when, um, I forgot who it was, but he got absolutely bamboozled for his own uh, handshake. So either way, starting off this game, straight off the bat, over on play, um, uh, PS2. PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2. Listen, I almost said it. I almost said it. Don't play with me. But either way, best console, by the way. Player it's, 4. It's a just, console. It's, it's the best console. Okay, it is the most it, console. It, it, is the, it, was, it is the definition of a console console. <laughs> Damn, I miss my PS2. But either way, we are on PS2 once again. Peach and Inkling on screen. Here we go. And player four already taking humongous dominance of stage or of the stage in general, uh, mid stage at the edge. And you're not allowing Skunko whatsoever to get in comfortably until you know right now, finally taking back that control of the stage that Inkling so desperately needs. Truthfully, this nice. Oh. Truthfully, this is a very difficult matchup for Inkling to deal with. Because I know. Inkling yeah. wants you to be on the ground so they can get most of their plays started. Mm -hmm. Uh, Peach doesn't stay on the ground, usually. You can catch her when she's landing sometimes, but, like, but compared to so the average yeah. character, no. The average Inkling has to really be on their up game to catch Peach whenever she is, you know, finally coming out to stage. Just like, oh, no, I, that was a trade I didn't, I didn't see. You can come back. Come on, don't play with me. Okay, I was about to say, like, don't, don't play. Jumping. Exactly. Inkling should be allowed to climb walls. Technically, Inkling should be allowed to go through walls. That's what I'm... Like, if no, you're underneath can. the stage, you should, go right th you should be able to go right through. That's not a Splatoon thing, dog. I don't know anything about Splatoon. They can climb walls. Anyway, player four is dead. So, ignore everything I said the first, like, 10 seconds of this match, because um, Skunkle is showing out what Inkling can do against Peach whenever they are given the best situation possible against her. He's performing quite well, to be sure. <laughs> I mean, kind of, kind of, kind of nasty today. Let's go. You know, I'm seeing player four just str uh, struggle to get a lot of his combos going. You know, dropping the 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 uh, turn up right there, and just allowing Lucy Lucy Skunkle to just take any opportunity that he can to enter the way that he's more most, most comfortable. Aka being on the ground, throwing out the um, pain projectile, and uh, otherwise taking control of center stage is really the biggest thing you're gonna want as Inkling. Here goes a paint roller. Uh, this is scary. This is really scary for player four. I can't even lie. There's that hit bump. You know, I'm just seeing a bit of a trade of. Uh, ooh, that's huge. That's it. That's it. Nice. Bury with the paint roller, and you're over and done with. Let's mash out there as fast as you can. But I think because player four is at like a somewhat highest percentage, just didn't mash out and just in time for the up smash. An excellent performance from Skunkle. Mm hmm. That was beautiful, God. Yeah. <laughs> that was nicely timed. Yeah, he did a side B from the mm -hmm. from above, which means there's no auto snap there, so good timing. Good situational awareness, I would better say. Alright, we're running it right back. Same characters. Um banning Kalos and F D on Skunkle's side, as as you should. But we're going over to small battlefield. One of my per but hello. <laughs> One of my preferred stages. Uh, as of late, because you know what? Space zoom in. Better. This is the best stage in the game. This is this is such a good stage. It should be a starter. I need to hurry up and make us do the stage starter survey. Again? Just start. We never asked about starter lists. Oh, you should ask for. Oh, okay, I see. I see what you mean. Just ask for like general stages, right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm Either way, finally seeing a uh, a you know player four come alive on a small battlefield. 138 percent on Skunkle already, and player four kind of chilling, really, really low digits at the moment. And I'm not seeing too much use of the platforms in the moment, because but you know what? You don't really need to, especially when you have such a good lead. Wow, that was sexy. Wow, hello. You know, such a really solid lead against uh, someone like Inkling, who does like to be on the ground way more often than, than Peach does. You're just kind of dominating the space that Inkling typically would be um, be looking for. Who picked this song? This freaking Wii Fit Trainer ass song. <laughs> Uh, but you like we fit? Like, come on now. This, this no, is your this song. song. This song is hype. I just never pick it. We fit trainer. 
Yo, Inkling's in Smash. That's crazy. I can believe it. I, I sometimes still think that it's kind of crazy that Sora is still in Smash. Like, I know. He's, like, not real to me until I see, like, Helper play him. But either way. I know, but Inkling was one of my, like, most wanted characters. Now you barely see him because they're hard to play. Hard-ish to play. Yeah, they're, they're a little funky to, like, uh, mess with. I remember trying out Winkling when I first got Smash, and I was just like, how do you work? But it doesn't help that I never played any of the Splatoon games. I mean, you don't really need to play Splatoon games to play Inkling. Oh, I know. I just don't understand what's going on whatsoever. There's squids and kids. You've heard the song. Yes. Anyway, Fire Force is yeah. <laughs> bringing say. this game back. Look at him go. Ooh, oh, that's ooh, what ooh. I was looking for for game one. These Peach combos that, you know, you always see Peach Minions do. Gets an easy, like, 50-60% for it at all times when they are able to land it uh, efficiently. Honestly, it can be hard for Peach to pick those combos mm -hmm. up against Inkling because those combos... Jesus Christ. That was a really funny win screen. I <laughs> those combos are sort of reliant on the opponent being grounded when mm -hmm. you get your hit. And like Peach, Inkling is kind of also just jumping around like a lunatic, too. Because they're like, I got to back air you. I got to back air you. I want to back air you, son. I'm going to back air you so bad, please. Let me back air you. It's one of the best so, yeah, back airs in the game. So they weren't, they weren't really on the floor as often as like they p t typically would have been. Yeah, that was a good up smash call out. No, this is this is this is the huge stock right here. Oh no, what happened here? This was the Can yeah. I this is a <laughs> this is literally just I'm gonna stand in front of you and then like hit my butt against your face. It's so funny. Peach is a funny character. Right like, that high recovery. Yeah. Floor four is on. They they are thinking. Uh, we are banning battlefield and town and city. We're leaving. Well, what are we all gonna go to? I think y'all should go back, back to small battlefield. You know, uh, yeah. Because what game was on was on PS2, and, and Skunkle took that, and I think it just really benefits Skunkle. Like, PS2, benefits Skunkle, lets you, like, really run away from Peach. Understandable, um, but that is to. a pretty good Peach stage, all things considered. Oh, well, I know, but I think with the way that Player 4 plays Peach and what he's looking for, I think you can run away so easily with Ink with Inkling on, like, a bigger stage like PS2. But Small Battlefield, you're way closer, you know? So yes. it's like, you are not going anywhere, I'm going to get you. And I well, love it. Let's see how it goes. But either way, we're running right, right back to PS2. Hopefully, maybe an awakening happens in, in Player 4 on this stage specifically, just because we did see Skunkle take this uh, take this game on this stage in Game 1. Oh, nice. Excellent movement from player, player 4, and excellent start as well. 50% already off the bat within the first 10 seconds, of, or 15 seconds of the match. Biggest thing we want looking for is Player 4 taking control of that center stage, as I kept saying uh, before. Because you really don't want to deal with Peach off. Well, Peach doesn't want to do anything else off stage, you know. Fully agreed. It's kind of hard for Peach. Oh my God, another sip. Here he it's is. It's kind of hard for Peach to do anything about Inkling's recovery. Mm -hmm. Like she can be at ledge and do a down air or an air. That's about all she's going for. And that's really it. And you, you time it so perfectly, oh. just because you see, you, you see how Player. how fast Skunkle can recover too. Player nice. four with kind of a subpar mash. So I noticed too, whenever the, 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 when the first time that happened, there wasn't too much of a good match going on um, when they were buried. So hopefully, Gassy come with some kind of waking on those matches. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Taking you right back to uh, basically that's it even with Agreed. that second stock. Can't let yourself be getting confirmed at 90 off roller though. That's no. wild. Can't be doing all that. It's not. It's not good for the soul. I'm loving Skunkle's, like, Cases. aggressiveness against Player 4. You don't want Peach, like, getting any kind of time to pull any any possibly bomb, you know? Don't want anything that happens uh, yeah. to you. And look at, once again... He locked out. There was no... There's a sour spot on that down smash. See, that's what we call in Splatoon the fall-off damage. The fall-off damage? Sour spots? Yeah. I need to play Splatoon. I do need to play Splatoon. I want to play Splatoon. I just never got a chance to. Do it. It's a great game. I want to. I'll, oh get, I'll, I'll get Splatoon 3. Don't worry about it. What a parry. Nah, I, again, I am loving Skunkle's aggressiveness on some a, a stage like PS2, which really, really favors a more zoner um, or keep away game plan. But thankfully, Player 4 just bringing it right back with uh, with the neutral. Well, not even neutral, but you know, back to even, stock-wise. And this might even be Skunkle's last game if we don't pick up the pace. 64% is nothing to 
to really be comfortable with and honestly rocking it as well. Back to center stage, hopefully taking something off of it as well, but no. Oh, no, yes, yes. Good, good shield holding against all that rapid jab. Oh yeah, we're allowing Peach to get, pick up these turnips and it's not working out for Skunkle. We can't allow Peach to get any of that, R that, that funky little RNG that she does have to her arsenal. Oh, I love... I, I, I had no idea who was going to grab who first. Skunkle in a very scary spot. We saw that up air kill early, really, really early. Uh, not early, but that was the final kill in early one of the enough. sets. Yeah. You gotta get out of the air when you're, when you're this high. You cannot contest Peach like that in the air. That's where she really dominates the space. Uh, this is this is booyah percent, I believe, because you know the inklings have to have their name for the up throw up air. Oh my oh, god! Oh, that? that's huge. Excellent mash out of the grab. He's out of ink too, which does matter because neutral base splatter shot is such a good like neutral breaker. This is it. This is up throw up air percent. Is he gonna be fishing for grabs or is he gonna go for roller? Oh, going for roller instead. Again, low on ink. Oh, that's all. Close. And low on act. Oh, the pop off? Wait, what he say? Damn, player four. Damn, player four. Was it that deep? Man Calm. just popped off out of nowhere. Calm yourself, Saya. He had to. He had to take. Had to bring that back after his his handshake was fumbled. You know, I get it. The pop off was needed. So something I do want to point out, because that was a situation that came in the end, Inkling's roller cannot hit airborne opponents, period. Mm -hmm. So even when Peach is just kind of floating at ground level... Can't hit him. You can't hit her. Like, it, even if that roller touches her, it can push her, but it won't hit her. Wow. Like, she'll get nudged because Inkling's, like, running into her, but she will never get hit. And it's pretty insane, all things considered. Anyway, a great set, to be sure. I didn't know that it didn't hit. I, I thought that if you were at least near it, you would get hit anyway. But if you're like anywhere in the air, you're Kaboom! you're fine. Wow, that was oh, good. Yeah, let's look at the let's look at the pop off. Look at this pop off. What was the reason? What was the reason? Who knows? Who knows? Realistically, Skunkle is not not even. Oh, <laughs> he's not the quick little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how I saw it. Manzo's quick with it. <laughs> he's, he's gonna snatch someone's fist one day, and someone's not gonna be ready for it. Either way, and great I can't set, wait. guys. We shall move on to the next. Oh, absolutely.